Okay. All right. Good morning and welcome to morning devotions with the community of St. Andrews in Glenwood, Maryland. My name is Bob Bryant and I will serve as leader today. If you are new to this service, know that you are welcome to participate fully. We're recording this service so that others can access it at a time convenient for them. I need two volunteers. Who would like to volunteer this morning? I'll volunteer for one. That's uh, Mike. Okay. Mike. Mm -hmm. I, I can do the volunteer too, uh, Bob. Thank you. Let us begin. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Beloved in Christ, we come together to offer to Almighty God our worship and praise and thanksgiving, to confess our sins and to receive God's forgiveness, to hear his holy word proclaimed, to bring before him our needs and the needs of the world, to pray that in the power of his spirit we may serve him and know the greatness of his love. The Lord is, is his holy temple. Let all earth keep silence before him. Let us confess our sins to God, our Father. Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbor in thought and word and deed. Through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, by what we have done, and by what we have failed to do. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Merciful Lord, grant to your faithful people pardon and peace that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth will proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. I'll read the Venete. Okay. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you will hearken to his voice. Okay. The reading this morning is uh, from St. Benedict's Toolbox by Jane Tomain. Uh, in the obedience chapter, page 83. Giving our life to God. We know that it is much easier to talk about obedience than to live it. So to do more than talk, we need to place our lives in the hands of God and say, as Samuel did, speak for your servant is listening. When we choose to give our lives to God, we begin to realize that we are co-collaborators with God and are not responsible for everything. We use what's been given to us creatively, attentive to our lives and to God's presence. Listening and responding in love, we take our part in furthering Christ's kingdom in the world. This grounding in love remains the vital element, 
ultimately obedience will come from the heart and it will be the expression of what we most deeply and truly desire. At the root of obedience is the free, humble, loving surrender to the will of God, the willing obedience which says yes with our whole person to the infinite love of God so that outward observance springs from inward ascent, a bending of our free will toward the will of Christ, which we will finally which will finally make us collaborators with him. Obedience and our baptismal covenant. It is clear there's a deep relationship between obedience and the baptismal covenant. The following three questions seem to relate most closely. Will you uh, persevere in resisting evil and whenever you fall into sin, repent and turn to the Lord? Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? In obedience, we turn away from the evil of placing ourselves at the center of the universe. As we listen to God, present in scripture and in all of life around us, we find opportunities to serve Christ in all persons and in all situations. We are free enough to respond to life with the mind of Christ, setting our own agendas aside and following instead our Lord's way of justice and peace in whatever challenge or need is before us. Because we have opened our hearts in love through obedience, we can share God's love <clears throat> with those around us. Summing up obedience, congratulations, you've completed a challenging chapter in the toolbox. How did the chapter practice go for you? Being present to your reading and in the interruptions and noticing any grumbling. Let us take a moment to summarize the promise of obedience. Keywords, listening and responding to people and to situations in our lives. Obedience is the action we take when, we're, when we exercise stability. Obedience is the form love takes. Obedience to others is the way we live out our obedience to God. Refrain from grumbling, practice restraint of speech, practice acceptance of self and others and the situations of life. Place our lives in God's hands. Are there comments about that? It's a good summary, and she's right. It was a difficult chapter. Yeah. <clears throat> so simple and so such so simple instructions, um, but the execution in the world is difficult. <clears throat> I didn't realize I was grumbling until I read these specifics. Yeah, it's insidious. I like how she relates uh, the elements of the rule of St. Benedict to the baptismal covenant. I think it, it yeah. uh, really yeah. grounds what she's saying in the core of our faith. Yeah. Great. Yeah, what, what jumped out to me there was seek and serve Christ in all persons. It's easy to forget when somebody's being nasty right in front of you that Christ is in them too. <laughs> mm. 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 Very, very deeply within them. Mm. Mm. So deep you can't find it. <laughs> Could be. Other thoughts? We're called to love on them too, Robert, and hopefully it will shine through. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. It elicits grumbling from me when I encounter mean people. Yeah. That, yeah, was not convincing, Robert. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Yeah.
You are God. We praise you. You're the Lord. We acclaim you. You're the eternal father. All creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the holy church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only son, worthy of all worship and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the king of glory the eternal son of the father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, how would be your name? Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Go before us, Lord, in all our doings with your most gracious favor and further us with your continual help that in all our works begun, continued and ended in you, we may glorify your holy name and finally by your mercy attain everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Prayer requests this morning. For Wendy. For Eileen and Brianna, Mabel and John. Stuart. For Marcia. For all the people in Humphreys County, Tennessee. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ. For the means of grace and for the hope of glory, and we pray give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through jesus christ our lord to whom with you and the holy spirit the honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. Amen. <laughs>